so in this video we will learn about animated library in react native animated library is basically used to create animations we can create powerful fluid animation using this animated library we have uh, multiple methods like animated dot timing animated dot value duration and with the help of all these methods we can create components with animations so first of all just create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and i already opened the ir simulator you can also use android simulator animated library works with both the both the os so first of all we need to import some components text view button and animated view is already imported okay so first of all we need to provide a value a base value to the animation the starting value and for that we do not need to provide the value directly which instead we should use use ref hook so that it will return a mutable ref object so let's create const add animation use ref new object animated dot value it will be zero and it will be current value now we will be applying an animation a small animation to a view component we can apply animation to image component text component view flat list section list any of the component so for this example we will be applying this animation to a view component so we will be creating two buttons uh, one is fade in and second is fade out when you click on fade in the view will slowly appear onto the screen and when i click on the fade out it will slowly disappear from the screen so let's create a function for fade in animation animated dot timing the start value will be fed ending then it will go to the value to 1 now understand this the base value is 0 so it slowly increase to value 1 so that it will appear on to the screen and the duration it will take to reach from 0 to 1 we can specify in millisecond let's say 5000 milliseconds dot start now let's create similar function for the fade out animated dot timing again fade any because it's already reached to uh, value 1 fade any now and now it will reach to value 0 so in fade out it will slowly disappear so when we first click on fade in the value of fade in will al already reached 
to the value 1 and when we click on the fade out button it will decrease to 0 and we can provide duration let's say 4000 milliseconds again start okay so this basically two methods that we'll be using to create animation now let's create animated view to create animated view we just simply need to attach animated to the component okay so let's provide some styling the first one is styles dot fading container we'll be creating this style and on the opacity because fair animation is related to the opacity we'll be applying fan anim reference to the opacity so that for when we click on the fade in the value of the fade anim goes to 0 to 1 and on fade out it will goes from 1 to 0 so basically this is our view let's write a text on it also fading view we will be creating style styles dot fading text now let's create two buttons In this view, we will be creating two buttons for the fade in and fade out and we will apply style button draw. Okay. So the first button title will be fading and on press event we will be calling the fading function this function let me just copy this much and on the second button we will be calling fade out okay that's pretty much it uh, we have created two functions fade in and fade out we, we we have created a fade animation a reference and the current value is zero and in both the function in the first function the value goes from zero to one and the, on the second one the value goes from round one to zero and we have applied animated to view component and this fade anim a reference is connected to opacity now let's create this style the fading container let's provide some padding let's say 20 
let's buy a background color so background color of the view of this animated view component let's say yellow now fading text font size let's say 30 button row let's provide justify content center margin vertical let's say 15 now let me just save this and let me just save this one as you can see now we have we are seeing two buttons fade in and fade out if i click on fade in it should uh, appear the view component uh, with the red background sorry yellow background so let me just click on the fade in as you can see we are getting one warning use native driver okay so you need to provide use native driver true here also let me just save this and when i click on fade out it will slowly disappear if I change it to let's say two seconds it will be much faster let me change it to 1000 milliseconds let me change this to let's say pink So basically this is how you can use animated library and use animated dot timing and the animated dot value these all the uh, properties that you can use with animated library to provide animation to the various component it's a very basic animation in our later videos uh, we will see much more complex uh, videos on animations will be applying animations to each and every part of the application so that's it for this video thanks for watching it